Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Um, we're really coming to the end of 2021, and I just find it so hard to believe how fast the year went by. Um, I want to wish everyone a fabulous 2022. I wish you all good health, happiness, love of family, love of God. Um, I think things are going to turn around and I think 2022 is going to be a really, really special year, a really good year. So I'm sending warm wishes and many blessings to all of my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, you still get my warm wishes and my blessings. And, um, I just thank you all. It's been a fabulous year. So thank you to everyone from the bottom of my heart. So I wanted to share with you my December daily. This is my personal December daily. I finished the front cover yesterday. Um, and I will be doing the final touches, creating the final touches on this on New Year's Day. Actually, it'll be New Year's Day is Saturday, so it will be Sunday because my brother and his girlfriend are coming Saturday, and I will finish the end here with um, his company. So let me show you. Um, we'll take a quick little um, flip through, and I'll show you my front cover. I have sorry silk threads all over the place, so... Um, as you can see, it's nice and chunky. It's big. And the reason it is like this is because I have all of my 2021 memories of December in here. I've never done a December daily before, so this was really a new challenge to me. I loved it. I absolutely enjoyed writing each day what was going on for the month of December. I'm also, I also used it as a somewhat of a prayer journal. Um, I used it as a photo album. So I think I've covered, but it's not, I can't call this a junk journal because I do not have junk in it. Everything that is in here is very precious to me. Um, I have digital downloads. I do not have a lot of vintage items. I, so I, I'm not calling this Actually, I don't call any of my journals junk journals because I don't have a lot of um, vintage items. The things that I do have vintage were my mom's and I don't consider them junk. So my front cover, I made a nice little pocket here. This material here is woven. It's all silk. It's what I used on my girlfriend's front cover of her journal. This was made... This was woven by my neighbor, and this was these are scraps that she gave me. Um, so I sewed the front um, around, and I I you can see I kind of made a pocket, uh, a V, almost like a a collar, like a shawl. And um, I have my button sewn on here because it reminded me of a button collar, and. I love this little bit of lace here that I found in my stash because by putting the buttons here, these remain remind me of of angels. Um, their little their little wings are coming out the leaves, and then this is the bottom of their skirt. So to me, this these are two little angels right here. And again, I cut some fabric out from a panel that I have. And I just glued these on. I, I fussy cut these images out. And it just kind of reminds me of, of holly leaves. And then my favorite poinsettias I attach to the front. So December 1st. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to explain anything here. Um, this may be caught in here. Might be a little bit of... Yeah, a little bit of glue on the bottom here. Oh, dear. Let's see. Let's get this fixed. 
Sometimes I push these down so hard they it gets stuck to the bottom. So um, I do have a video on this fun tag here with Mitch Miller. And I have lots of fun little tuck spots. This is December 2. And even though I have my December 2 here, this is one of my favorite pages with the, the little glitter pocket. Um, again, I have a video on that. I labeled this December 2nd just in case it fell out or it got um, shoved in the back. I, I would know that... Um, this goes with the December 2 page. That's when we went to get our Christmas tree. And then this is why I also call it a photo um, book, because instead of doing the a um, scrapbooking page, I put my photos right in this this year. And we go over to December 3rd with a beautiful psalm and i have a letter in here that i wrote and um, december 4th is all about um, mary and it was a homage to mothers during the christmas season and i love this tag i just think this is this is really pretty um, it was a special tribute to Mary and to mothers because, you know, mothers do so much for their families. On the 5th was the day that um, we decorated. I decorated the trees, and I have these cute little snowflakes. You'll see all the little snowflakes on the, the bottom here with all the little jewels. They're fun. And then we have a little pocket here where I have some of the ornaments on the tree. This was a fun, this was a fun pocket to make. And this here, I can write, this is a little note card. I'll continue, I'll continue to write in this until right up to the first. I still have some nice writing to do. Brings us to the six. And then I have all of these little pockets here where I can I will go back and do some writing these are just some Christmas decor in my home and then while trimming the tree I wanted to put in there I wrote all about that little nostalgia going on our tradition with the tree December 8th another psalm And then on the 9th, that's when my um, daughter-in-law and I, I took her to a special shop um, about an hour from where we live. And I only go there once a year. That's where they have all the old world ornaments. And this was a fun little side um, decoration that I made. I'll continue on this side. I'll, I'll either do a little journaling or... Or I might put a Christmas prayer in here. There are still some um, Christmas music lyrics that I would like to put in here that are my favorite. So I will probably put a lot of um, Christmas music in here as well. And then that brings us over to the 10th. And this is one of my favorite pages. Um, this was the day that one of our employees had a new baby. Um, so I tied it into the birth of Jesus, and this is a beautiful poem. It's actually a song, but I put the poem here. And because, um, you know, Jesus is all about peace and love and being kind to your neighbor, um, I thought these were very appropriate, all these doves, uh, these peace doves um, here. And these were actually um, punched from some old, old Christmas cards that I had. Um, on the 11th, that was when I finished my girlfriend's 
um, journal and I wanted to document that. So there's there's the front cover to the one for my girlfriend. And I used the same um, woven material around there. And then I just put some pictures in here, some favorite pages that I had done in her journal. So I have reference um, to what, you know, I could do in my journal for next year. And then um, we come to the 13th. And I love using these crocheted. And you noticed here, um, my mom crocheted. These were Christmas ornaments, and I loved putting them in the book. I have so many of her ornaments, and I love this little piece right here that I thought, why not, you know, it doesn't always have to be hung on the tree. I, I wanted to incorporate them in my, in my book. Then I have a nice little side pocket here. Um, this was the day we did Christmas cards, and I wrote about that. So this is my little Christmas card area. And then on this side, in this one, um, we also made cookies that day. So I took a picture of our cream cheese cookies, and I wrote about that, mostly about my daughter-in-law. Um, she's from Romania, and they do not make Christmas cookies. They bake cakes. So that was a that's always a special time um, to spend with my daughter-in-law um, baking. This was from a wonderful Instagram friend of mine, which came on a, a most unexpected day. It was the same day I found out my my Aunt Rosie passed away. This was a tribute to my my Aunt Rosie and my mom and her siblings. So um, on the 16th, that was a ha sad and happy day. Um, so I did a nice little tribute there. Then on the 17th, it was all about games and shopping and um, how, what I grew up with. So that's that's a fun little page. We come over to the 18th. And what did I do on the 18th? Oh, that was the day that, um, again, I baked a second batch of cookies and I took a Philadelphia cream cheese container and then the Jello. Um, again, I have a video on this page and this was just a fun, fun page to create. And then here I used the cream cheese container to make a pocket and then the Philadelphia cream cheese front to make a tag. So that was on the 18th. And I love, I love these little bookmarks. And then um, this one here, this is a cute little, cute little tag. I will be journaling on that. This is the, the 19th. And let's see, what did I do on the, this is the 20th. Oh, I wrote a letter in there, but this is an old um, check. It's for Christmas and you would place your checks in there for a gift giving. And then I just added some of the embellishments here. I cut out from a um, scrapbooking paper. I wrote a letter and then I added this with the date um, of the letter. So that's the 20th. And I just, I think it's a lot of fun. This reminds me of a bell pull, adding ribbon and whatever to your dates. Um, this is, this coincides with the Peace on Earth, the Little Drummer Boy. It's one of my favorite songs. It's very simple. Um, and then I wrote a verse from Matthew about how it's better to give than to receive. Um, and you give in the name of our Savior, um, Jesus. Um, you give yourself, not material things. So this, I really like this page as well. Um, this was the day that my neighbor, my weaving friend, stopped by and um, brought me. She was on her way out of town to visit her sister in New Hampshire. So she stopped by and this is, I made a note of what she gave to me and to the pups. 
So that that's fun. Then we have on the 22nd. And then this is all for the 22nd. And again, um, this is basically a prayer to Jesus, thanking him. My husband and son were exposed to someone um, that had COVID. And we prayed and prayed and prayed. And we also have a cross on our front door um, that when they said a world prayer, um, my daughter-in-law's mom over in Romania said, please hang a cross on your front door until COVID is over. And if you hang a, a cross on your front door and you leave it there, um, COVID will not enter your home. And you know what? We're going on two years of this mess and COVID has not entered our home. It has not hit our family. So this was a prayer and a thank you to um, Jesus um, that their test came back negative and they were healthy and they could celebrate Christmas. So I have, again, these are from a Christmas card. So to me, this represents the star of Bethlehem. Um, the peace, and this is Bethlehem itself. So, um, and then I have again um, Silent Night here. This is Christmas Eve. So, I thought that was very appropriate to have with a Christmas Eve blessing. And then we, th again, this is Christmas Eve where my daughter in law, law and I, we had never um, decorated cookies before on Christmas Eve. Um, it was always done many days prior so we did that so I made a nice little page there and then I have this cute little recipe card I journaled there about it and then this is Chris this is one of my favorite pictures in my book one of my favorite pages this is Christmas morning um, with my showing my two boys and my daughter-in-law and then this is where I haven't done a lot of journaling yet so what I've done here is I've gone through and I put in um, photos, special photos of what, what they got. Um, this is a beautiful, I have to show this when I in one of my next videos, but this is a beautiful, cruel piece that my, my daughter-in-law made me, and she put on there a special note to me. Um, she had never done anything like this before, and it was a te very tearful morning, tears of joy. And then some books. We're big readers in this house, so there's lots of books. Um, just some fun pictures. And then the pictures continue to go through. Um, and then let's see, what else do we have here? And then this, this last signature I am leaving for uh, Christmas Eve, or sorry, excuse me, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I'll fill all of this in um, with different occasions that uh, we went to my girlfriend's house last night and had dinner. It had our gift exchange and then with my brother coming. So this will all be filled in with those joyful times. And I love this page too. I think this is really pretty. I love using the lace or the, the ribbon trim um, with, this is a really pretty ribbon here. It's kind of like, um, like a velvet style. And then this is one of my favorite. We walk by faith, not by sight. That's one of my favorite verses in Corinthians. And I, again, I love this ribbon. And then this was the back page that we did the other day. So that is my um, December daily. That's how I use it. Um, I love it. I'm really, really happy that um, I did it. I have three others. Well, I have two others. I gave my girlfriend one. Um, and then I have two more. So I won't have to build these, you know, big ones. I can just fill them in next year. Um, and I'm all set and ready to go. So 
I want to thank everybody again. Thanks for joining in and watching. I hope that I've inspired you with some new ideas, um, possibly some ideas that you hadn't tried before in your journals. You could be a little bit more creative. So um, I will see you soon. I will see you. I'm going to say I'll see you next year because we only have a couple more days and it's going to be, um, we're going to be rolling into 2022. So I'm signing off for 2021 and I will see you in the new year, everybody. All righty. Bye-bye.